salamat kayo, Pastor John, for giving the opportunity to speak uh, to you this afternoon. Uh, sabi ko kay Pastor John, uuwi na kasi kami next sa, sa, ano, sa March 11. We're already more than one year here. <laughs> And I love the place. I love Alcobar. I love the mountain. <laughs> napaka, ano kasi napaka, ano, hindi siya metropolis. No? Hindi, hindi matraffic. <laughs> At saka ang mga, ano, mga, yung road, napaka wide. <laughs> hindi pa sa atin sa Pilipinas. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And thank you also for, um, the time na ano maka ano ko sa inyo maka fellowship din ako sa inyo <laughs> sorry nang yung tagalog ko kasi <laughs> hindi kasi ano um, i can at least speak tagalog <laughs> how i wish <laughs> i will be speaking about love Love that endures. And only the love of God endures. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Father, we are so thankful, God, for this afternoon that you have given us opportunity to once again gather together in and we have this great fellowship with you, knowing of God and the God who loves us. Thank you so much for, for loving us. Though so many times we fail you, but you keep on loving us. We have so many shortcomings, but despite the Lord, you keep on loving us behind behind our faults. Thank you so much. As we listen to your word, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will just speak to us. Open our understanding that we can understand more of your love. So that, Lord, whatever happens in our lives, we will never keep up with loving you. We will continue loving you, Lord, because you never give up on us. So, Lord, thank you for blessing us. In Jesus' name. Amen. One of the most abused word is love. Is it? It's so easy to say, I love you. <laughs> it becomes a common word that it's so easy to utter without meaning, without emotion, without weight and value. Is it? people today, especially the young adults, are not serious but are playing love relationship. Hindi pa ko tawag to. The 2019 statistics shows that ages 25 to 35 have the highest rate of separation and divorce. Love relationships seems a joke that some men and women changes girlfriend or boyfriend as fast as they could remember. <laughs> Thank God! When we became Christians, the Word of God teaches us that God is love. And His love never fails. God's love endures forever. If you look at Psalm 136, it gives us four facets of the love of God, or four demonstrations of its steadfast endurance forever to help us bolster our gratitude for His love towards us. The Psalm 126 
is a responsive reading sound. So as I go along with my preaching, from the, uh, as uh, my outline goes, we will have this responsive reading. So, First demonstration is God's being the grounds of His love. Morning, ground me up. No, why He loves us. Please rise up and let us read the verses one, two, three. Ako yung babasa ng one, and then you are going to respond. His love endures forever. Okay. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. As we noticed, in verses 1 to 3, here are the grounds of His love. In verse 1, it says, give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His steadfast love, his steadfast love endures forever. Verse 1 gives us His being, God's goodness. His goodness. Hindi ba mabuti ang Panginoon? Sa ibang church, as they start their service, ito din sinasabi nila, God is good! Then ang lahat pagsabi na, All the time! Yes. <laughs> God is good! The yes, the goodness of the Lord stands behind His love. Bakit, bakit mabuti sa atin ang Panginoon? Kasi, love tayo ng Panginoon. Tayo, mabuti tayo sa ating mga anak, mabuti tayo sa ating mga kaibigan, because we love them, right? So ito yung ating pinang, ano, pinang mahahawakan. Yeah. Whatever, th whatever happens in our lives, God will continue to show His love for us. Because He loves us. Kahit ano pang mangyari, kahit hindi mga Christians, eh, yung goodness ng Panginoon, ano, pinakikita niya, di ba? Na, he, he let the sun rise. And he let the rain pours. To everyone. Because he loves us. For God so love the world. Amen? Amen. The goodness of the Lord stands behind His love. Because God is good, we can be sure that His love will be fixed on you forever. We can be sure of that. How about us? Is our love fixed to God? In verse 2, give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. He speaks of His uniqueness. He is the one true <coughs> The Lord your God is one God. And there is no other like Him. He has no rival. He has no equal. He is the only true God. Amen. If we 
exchanged his love to the gods of this world. What is the, what is the gods of this world? Money? Fame? Power? Even relationships. Di ba? Noon, kami, sa aming church, noon marami kami ng people. More than a hundred. And we told them that you have to keep the love of God in your heart. And be not an equal video with the unbelievers. Because, of course, we know naman, yun ang, ang sinasabi ng Panginoon sa kanyang, you know, His word. But sad to say, <laughs> marami sa kanila na deceive. And they turn away from God. Turn away from your backs from the church. So, ito yung, um, uh, this is one of our, we should, we should be on God. Because he is the God of gods. There is no one like him. And we should keep his love for us. Because his love is unfading. Hindi kaya ng mga tao na they will only love us if they can if they have something to get from us. Hindi ba? Yung mga interests, if they have interest, if they have uh, something to get from us, so they will go to us, they will be, they will love us. <laughs> but God is different. His love is fixed. Whoever you are, hindi siya, hindi niya, hindi siya tumatanaw, he, he, he didn't see you as different from the Americans. He loves all kinds of races. Wala siya na, hindi siya ano, na pumipili. His love for us is the same as the rich and the poor. The educated and non-educated is the same. Because he is God. Verse 3, give thanks to the Lord of Lords. This talks about his governance. He reigns and he rules. He is the sovereign Lord. We have nothing to be afraid nor worry because we know everything is under his control. Amen? Amen. Even though siguro we will be facing trials just like sa ating kapatid dito na na hospital yung anak niya. But we know that everything is under his control. So if you know that God loves you, you have nothing to be afraid of. Amen. Yes. You can overcome worries. You can overcome any mountains in your life. Because you know that He will never leave you nor forsake you. Everything is under His control. Because He is the Lord of Lords. Hallelujah. God holds you in the grip of his love. And that is the ultimate grounds of our deepest gratitude. We thank God. For he is our God. We thank God that he is our Lord. And we thank God that this Lord is really good. Amen? The next is... God's creation. The theater of his love. (laughs) 
So I would like again to please rise up again and lead us have a responsive reading. We'll be reading here from verses 4 to 9. To him who alone does great wonders. His love. His love. I think we have to move on because this is already finished. Okay, one more time. I'll be reading verse 4. To him who alone does great wonders, who by his understanding made the heavens, who spread out the earth upon the waters, who made the great lights, His love endures forever. The sun to govern the day, His love endures forever. The moon and the stars to govern the night, His love endures forever. This talks about the creation of God, the theater of His love. What a great love God has for men. That before he created them, he already prepared everything for them. Isn't it? The lights, the waters, the land, the trees, the plants, the animals. Lahat na. He prepared na Panginoon. Yes. Before he created men. Yun na napakaganda. Hindi ba sa atin mga parents? No? For those who are really responsible before they get married, hindi, they have they already prepared. Hindi sila mag ano mag hindi sila mag asawa na na parang parang okay lang bahala na. <laughs> but for those who really love, they will prepare everything for their loved ones, and that is our God. But it's so sad that men today are slowly destroying God's creation due to greed and selfishness, isn't it? Now we are suffering, especially sa Philippines, na from time to time, kita sa Philippines, in nagsasuffer kayo ng almost 20, more, more or less 20 typhoons or, or storms. At nag-ano, nag uh, as the years, yeah, ano na kung pan nag ano yung ng parang bumibigat yung typhoon, na naging super typhoon na, no? Kasi climate change, we are because of we are destroying our our natural environment, our the natural resources. That God has created for us to enjoy. So the more we destroy God's creation, the more we suffer, right? God's creation will always remind us of His great love for us. His love will never allow His children to starve, to look pitiful and abandoned. How many of us here, every time we face problems, it seems that no one cares for us. It seems that the whole mountain is on, is on our shoulder. But sometimes, if we are not guarding, guarding our hearts, we will blame natin ang Panginoon. Bakit ganito, Lord? Eh, faithful naman ako sa iyo. Bakit ganito, Lord? Eh, yung kapitbahay namin, our neighbor, is wicked. And yet, walang, walang sakit. <laughs> but in times of your problems, in times of your struggles, in times of your sufferings. Just look at the creation of God and you will 
He will always remind you that He loves you. Amen. He will always be there for you. Amen? Because He loves you. Despite that, you, we are not exempted of the sufferings in this world. Jesus said, in this world, you have tribulation. But you have rejoice and will really overcome the world. 2 Peter 1.3 says, God has given us all things that pertains to life and guidance. See, God has prepared everything for us. Life and guidance. Because he wants us to be holy. He wants us to be righteous. God has given us all these things. We should never entertain in our mind that God doesn't love us if we are facing great needs in life and if our prayers are not, are not answered yet. So, you know, it's not discouraged. It's not discouraged. It's not um, several months na siya na hindi walang trabaho. And then, he, he was even accused by his former employee. So, siyempre, siya ang winner. No, ano siya? He's the, he's the one who is sending money to his family. So, talagang mahirap. But, kasi kasama namin siya sa bahay. Of course, we always encourage him. We always receive encouragement. So, yung faith niya na built up. And we always remind him that in this time of struggles, you need to always cling to God. Don't ever think that he never, that he, he doesn't care for you. He loves you. But you know, all things were together for good. And, kanina, tumayo siya, at talagang nagpapasalamat siya. Kasi, uh, yung company niya, nagbigay na sa kanya ng release paper. And so the uh, the the, uh, the other company that uh, he, he was already approved. Ano na siya? Hindi niya pwede makuwi. So he will just continue to work here. Supposed to be na umuwi sana siya sa um, January 31. Unfortunately, <laughs> he the the Qatar Airways uh, hindi siya ano nang he wasn't allowed because the eh, next stop over niya is Bangkok, and then yung uh, ano niya yung uh, connecting flight niya is Cebu Pacific, and ang um, Cebu Pacific is uh, suspended sa Bangkok, so hindi siya pinayakan na mga flights. Yun pala because the Lord has a better uh, plan for him. So, magtawa siya kanina sa kanyang ano, testimony kasi uh, uh, siguro mag-umpisa mag siya, he will be working, uh, he will start working really this week. So, you know, as we just trust the Lord and we keep on relying on His love, He will not fail us. Because he is the God who knows our needs. And He will provide everything for us. In Matthew 7, 11, If you then, evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more your Father in heaven will give what is good to those who seek Him. My brothers and sisters, whatever your needs are today, look at the birds, the plants, and the trees. God is created. He loves you. He values you more than those beautiful flowers and birds. Hallelujah. Amen? Amen. 
The third demonstration of God's love is in verses 10 to 22. God's redemption, the display of His love. So once again, we need us to rise up and we need us to read this responsibly. <laughs> to Him who struck down the firstborn of Egypt, forever, and brought Israel out from among them, forever, with a mighty hand. An outstretched arm. Stop in yours forever. To him who divided the Red Sea asunder. Stop in yours forever. And brought Israel through the midst of it. Stop in yours forever. But swept Pharaoh and his army into the Red Sea. Stop in yours forever. To him who led his people through the wilderness. Stop in yours forever. To him who struck down great kings. Stop in yours forever. And killed mighty kings. Stop in yours forever. Sihon, king of the Amorites. Stop in yours forever. And all, king of Bashan. Stop in yours forever. And gave their land as an inheritance. Stop in yours forever. An inheritance to his servant. Israel. Here we are appointed to the two parts of the great redemptive story of the Old Testament scriptures. I think most of us are familiar with what happened to Israel under the uh, Egypt captivity. In verses 10 to 16, this is about Exodus story. God's deliverance of his people from slavery and bondage in Egypt. Then in 17 to 22 is about the conquest of the land. God setting them free from slavery and bringing them into an inheritance of their own, defeating their enemies and providing them with the land with the rest. Exodus and conquest. It's also happened to us. Amen? Bago tayo nandito, nakaupo at saka naka na ano, nag-worship sa Panginoon, where were you before? What kind of people you are you are with? What place? Ano ba yung what place na yung pinaku, pinupuntahan? <laughs> ano ba yung life yung monokon na hindi ka pa naging Christian? Marami tayong pinagdaanan. Thank God for me. <laughs> I was saved when I was just 14, 14 years old. So I don't have any much struggle with sin. But I know so many Christians that even though they are really Christians, yet they have been in great struggle knowing that God wants us to live a holy life, a righteous life, to be different from others. But thank God, save us from slavery of sin and giving us salvation and victory over our enemies. See, ito ang ating mga enemies na hanggang ngayon eh, dapat we need to conquer. It is sin, self, and Satan. Sometimes our, our self is also our enemies, right? Sabi ni Paul, I want to do the things I want to do, but I cannot do. And I do the things that I don't want to do. And those are katawag natin na spiritual battle. Can you relate to yourself? You know? <laughs> we don't tayo mga spiritual battles. 
Na thank God that Jesus our Lord by His obedience His death and His resurrection has triumphed over sin and death and hell. He has given us salvation. He is so merciful for us. Take na sometimes we struggle tayo but we know that God has already given us the free gift of salvation. And now we are enjoying this salvation. But of course, St. Paul rem uh, remind us from his word that we need to uh, keep this salvation with fear and trembling. Because we know that Satan is still there. Honey is a great deceiver. But thank God that His love for us ito yung nag-hold sa atin. That despite so many times that nakaano tayo na parang nanihina tayo sometimes nakaano tayo na nag- uh, slow down but God keep, keep on loving us he, because he wants us to enjoy the salvation that he already won on the cross and we should always be thankful that this salvation that we already received kailangan natin ito i-cheerless. Kailangan natin ito i-keep sa ating buhay. And we will not allow Satan to snatch this salvation from us. Because he promised eternal rest for us. Eternal victory for us. Eternal life. Because he loves us. Gusto niya tayo makasama sa walang hanggang sa walang hanggang forever. Amen ba? Amen. So hopefully mga, mga kaibigan, mga brothers and sisters, so many times ano, hindi natin uh, we should not uh, um uh, ano sa atin yung we should have just uh, uh, make this salvation light na parang okay lang we have to uh, put this in our hearts knowing that this is the demonstration of God's love for us walang magbigay ng kanyang buhay of course our parents so many times Yeah. Sabi niya, Mrs. Story, sabi niya, sana ako na lang nagkasakit. Hindi na sana yung anak. <laughs> yeah. Because of that love. Because of love. And that's what Jesus has done for us. He gave his life for us. So we should not forget that. Amen? Amen. We should not forget that. Okay? Ano, ano mangyari sa ating buhay? Every time you can see the cross, that is where God has given us His, his life for us. The demonstration of His life. You will always remember it. God loves the love. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. And that whosoever believes in Him should not perish. Should not perish. Ikaw lang talaga ang makadesisyon. Amen. If you will continue to hold His love. Pero ang Panginoon natin, talagang love niya tayo. He loves us. Sa so, noong, nandun pa kami sa ano, sa, ng, 
whenever I the Bible college, I often sang the song, No one ever cares for me like Jesus. There is no other friend so kind as he is. Because he loves us. Yung mga kaibigan mo na na tinitiris mo ngayon, <laughs> well, these days, maano na sila? They will, they will leave you. Even our parents, even our loved ones, um, <laughs> kasi yung youngest daughter namin, eh, ngayon nandun siya sa Pilipinas. Eh, she will be going to uh, UK this coming February 16. <laughs> so, hindi, na, hindi namin siya makita. <laughs> um, so, hindi kami maka ano sa kanya, ma, ano lang, uh, ito lang ang um, zoom lang or <laughs> para uh, may ano. So, kaya talaga, ma-uwi kami ni, ni, ni tatay sa Philippines, kami na lang dalawa. <laughs> Kasi yung mga anak namin, they have their own lives. So yun. But God is always with us. Amen. God is always with us. He will never leave us. Wherever you are, God will always be with you. Because he's the great Emmanuel. He is a good shepherd. So, hopefully, mga kapatid, we will never exchange God's love. Amen? And the fourth is God's providence. The persistence of his love. This is from verses 23 to 26. And again, let us rise up. He remembered us in our low, low state. He endures forever. And freed us from our enemies. He forever. He gives food to every creature. He endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. Amen. Let us sit down. In verses 23, in verse 23, in verses 23 to 25, it shows there that in verse 23, he cares about our weaknesses. He remembered us in our low state. Saan ka ngayon, kapatid? Siguro, coming here, you are really in low state. Kasi mabigat yung problema mo. Kasi maybe you are in the midst of trial. Maybe you are suffering right now. He remembers you. He knows your situation. He is there for you. He cares our weaknesses. It is here remembers in our he remembered us in our lowest state. Meron bang mga times sa inyong buhay na parang kung sabi ka na nga hindi na lang Hindi na ako magsisimba. I do not go to church. You know? Same na lang. Ngayon, marami rin akong problema. Magbabuti pa nga hindi pa ako Christian. Hindi masyado mabigat yung mga problema ko. Pero ngayon, problema, napakabigat. There are Christians who are parang life nila parang cha-cha. Three steps forward, 
and two steps backward. <laughs> Kasi nandun sila sa mabigat na situation in life. But always remember that God always remembers you. He remembers us. In times of our weaknesses, in times in our fra- in, in your frailties, He remembers you. When you cry out to Him, He listens. He listens to you. Huwag kang madiscourage because He's there. He's there. His rod and His staff will come for you. He has been faithful to you day after day after day. Because he loves us. Despite so many times that we are not faithful to Him. We have many times we willfully do the things na hindi maganda para sa Panginoon. So many times we failed Him, we disobey Him, and yet His love never gives up on us. So, He delivers us from our enemies in verse 24. He rescued us from our foes. This 2020, since 2019, 2020, 2021, and until today, we have been, we have been shaken by this pandemic. Sa amin, yung anak, yung second son namin, na COVID siya, and very fatal. At akala namin, talagang maano na si AR. And, at the same time, wala kami doon. Thank God, yung kapatid niya si AJ, doon po kita ngayon sa UK. Eh, siya, ang, siya ang head sa ICU sa AJ. And so, kahit yung mga doktor na hindi affiliated sa kanilang hospital, eh, mga government doktor sila, eh, nang tinawagan lang ni AJ, um, talagang mag-help sa KAR. And praise the Lord. <laughs> ngayon, ano na si AR? Very healthy na ngayon si AR. This, during this, those times, talagang, kasi nung panahon na yun na si AR ay na, nasa hospital, those also times na marami ha, kami muna kay Bigan. Very, very close to us. At talagang, they passed away. Mga pastors sila. Mga mababait na pastors. Pero, some of them, wala kasi yung hospital na nag-ano sa kanila, na, nag-exit sa kanila, kasi ma- punong-puno ang hospital. Thank God sa amin, si, si AR, kaya punong yung hospital, kasi yung kapatid niya, si AJ, nag-work sa hospital. So, walang problema. Pero isa, yung isa na nun na young people na si Pat, yung people, Pat. hindi siya, wala na sila sa aming church. Wala na sila sa aming church. E, Nakuusap pa sila na ER na after sa, after sa, ma, ma, ano, ma-recover sila, mag, ano pa sila, mag-meet pa sila. Kasi hindi siya nakapasok kasi hindi nila kasi alam na si AJ, yung anak na amin, nandun sa, sa art hospital. So sila, wala na silang, hindi, wala na silang napuntahan na ano, na hospital. 
So sa government na lang, i-alam naman natin sa government. <laughs> yung, uh, it's not a, uh, uh, walang, walang, ano, ng, kulang sila ng mga doctors doon. So, after a week, namatay si Kantan. So, talagang masakit. <laughs> So we have been shaken, no? Marami tayo na na ano nang kapag nag-uubo lang para na ano na tayo na ano ba ito? Covid na ba ito? <laughs> no? So, yun, no? Parang every day is a battle because we do not know our enemy. Yung mga tao na you are always encountering, you do not know if they have their eh, eh, infected. So yun, no? Parang nasi-shaking tayo ito. Salamat na lang ngayon na hindi na masyado. No? In fact, that's close to our opening for face-to-face. -face. Pero ganito tayo, no? Uh, from time to time. Na, ano tayo, nag- uh, meron tayong mga uh, we are facing so many challenges in life. But God in His love, He always provides a way up for us. Amen? He has always provided strength. He always provides miracles. Si Sakai, 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 AR talaga miracle talaga. More than a million ang nakasto namin. And that's already a miracle. Saan kami nakuha ng million? <laughs> Kami dito, ni, 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 ni Tata, ni Pastor Ray, hindi mo lang kami trabaho dito. And then our son, si Dundun, eh, yung kampanya nila, hindi pa nasa, <laughs> hindi, delay, delay yung swirdo. But it's just so amazing how God provides. Yung, yung ano, yung, uh, vial yata yun na i-inject kay AR. Supposed to be, sabi daw, sabi ni AJ, I, I need, I need 120,009 para I could buy this, uh, this vial. Uh, kuya needs this. <laughs> Saan kami kukuha nun? So Lord, you are our provider, you are our Jehovah Jireh. <laughs> you know, Wala talaga talaga Panginoon. But you know those atong uh, 65,000 of vial na bili na nila ng 28,000 kasi dalawa ang kailangan. So God made a way. Yung ginamit pa niya yung mga best friend ni AR yung kasama niya na maliit kasi nasa church namin. Yun ang nag Ang nag, ano, nagtampo-tampo sila para makabili sila ng ibang. Mahal, 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 napakamahal ng mga, mga, ano, mga the medicine na pinano sa kayo niya. But God never lacks in supplying our needs. That is his love for us. So, kung meron man kayo ngayon mga, ano ba yung mga problema ninyo sa inyong pamilya? Siguro, yung kampanya ninyo, <laughs> hindi na, nadidelay din no yung sweldo. <laughs> sa amin nga, eh, nga ah, kasi, ano nga, magpapakasyo na nga, kasi si, sila ni Don Don, yung anak namin, eh, inano na sila ng, meron na silang ticket. Kami na lang ni tatay ang wala. <laughs> Kasi yung didilit ni Ita ang sildo ni Don Don. Pero wala talagang magawa. E, you need to purchase ticket for us. So yun, uh, yung uh, babayaran nila sa rental ng bahay, at saka yung libi ng mga bata, yun ang ginamit. At saka nangilang pa sila sa, sa, sa pastor. So, kami dalawa ni tatay is 9,500 yung ticket kami. Ah, bigyan kasi pag-uwi nila, ipabayaran nila yun. You need to reimburse the plan. You need to pay. So, pero hindi, hindi, hindi nalang sa 
namin si si Don Camille siya nag nag-share sa amin yan. Hindi niya gusto na ma-burden kami ng mabore kay ng tatay. Yun nga, yung si, si yung si kasama namin sa bahay si Brain. Hindi nga siya natuloy kasi yung ano niya yung hindi siya pwede sa pagpunta sa bangko. Yung play niya na si Bo Pacific hindi hindi um da 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 ano da bangko ka ano um, international airport do not allow the Cebu Pacific to run in Bangkok. So yung gabi na yun sige pangita talaga ng ano ng ng ticket na na maanam ng cheap <coughs> mura lang. Oo. Yun nga nakita na nila Saudi Airlines 1003 lang. So sabi ni ni Cecil Pasok doon ito 1003 lang. Yun yun Nag, ano sila, nag, uh, binihanan agad. Binili agad ang ticket. At saka, nag, ano si, dun dun sa, sa Qatar Airways, kasi Qatar Airways yung, uh, nag-purchase sila ng ticket para sa amin. Uh, can you reimburse this uh, ticket? Can you refund this ticket? Yes, kasi hindi pa na ang nagamit, kasi match it with it. So, <laughs> the Lord is really good, because, Imagine mo na kasi de, si, sila dun dun ng ano na um, uh, more than 5,000. Malaki na yun. <laughs> so God made a way. Amen? So meron man tayo mga struggles in life. We need to trust the Lord because He loves us. He will make a way for us. That is despite of our sometimes we are not worthy <laughs> did you feel that right we are not worthy sometimes of his love we are so we are not so faithful to him even in our giving i hope we are faithful in our giving <laughs> but yet god is so faithful he is so faithful this is the way he loves us Jesus Christ has been a perfect and sufficient Savior for us in all our struggles. Our daily battles, His love provided us His strength through His promises. So we may be able to come out victorious. He cares for us and has provided us with all of our needs. Yes, He loves us so much, but there are times when we are spoiled and can't appreciate his love and goodness for us. So sad, no? Just like sa akong mga parents, our parents give everything for us, but sometimes, hindi natin ina-appreciate. Sometimes we are like that. Sa Panginoon. So many times, especially sa Panginoon, kasi hindi natin nang makikita siya. So kahit sa ating pag-serve sa Kanya, parang, Naging tradisyon na lang. Huwag ka lang tayo ng church, pero talagang wala ay parang hindi talaga love natin. But this afternoon, brothers and sisters, God is reminding us that despite of our unfaithfulness, despite of our disobedience, despite that sometimes we, we are not appreciative of his love, yet he keeps on loving us. He looks behind our faults. When we call to him, he answers us. Every time we need him, he's always there for us. No one can fathom the love of God for him has for us. His stubborn love endures for us before, now, and even forever. In view of this, how will we respond to His great love? Let us ask ourselves, ourselves, 
Do I really love God? If I love Him, how do I show my love for Him? Paano mo ipapakita ang inyong love sa Panginoon? How much I love Him. Our Lord Jesus Christ has commanded His love towards us. He commanded us. We have to love Him with all of our hearts, with all of our soul, with all of our strength, with all of our mind. Do you love Him with all of your heart? Is He the priority of your life? Do you acknowledge Him in everything you do? I hope, and this is my prayer, brothers and sisters, that before you, you go out from this place, you have to see to your love from God. Yes, His love endures. But you know, it's for us to respond. It's for us to really see how He loves us. I would like everyone to please rise up. And before we will close this in prayer, can we just bow down our heads for a short moment? And let us try to examine our hearts, let us try to examine ourselves. Knowing that He loves us, He despised that we are not so loving, yet His love endures for us. So many times we are not responsive to His love, yet He keeps on, he keeps on loving us. I hope this time you will say to God, Lord, forgive me of my failure in loving you. I know your love is true. Your love is sincere. But so many times my love is not true nor sincere to you. Father, forgive us. Father, forgive me. So many times I disobey you. So many times I am unfaithful. But you keep me loving us. Lord, this afternoon, change our hearts. Take away all the things that hinders us from loving you. Lord, you deserve to be loved. You deserve our lives. You deserve everything in us, O God. Thank you so much, Lord, that from this time on, we will keep your love in our hearts. Despite that we will be facing many trials, challenges in life, yet we know, God, that you will always be there for us. Thank you so much for the creation that you have done. Thank you so much, Lord, that during in our times of failure, times of weaknesses, times of our frailties, 
the people around us. And you provided everything for us, Lord. So thank you so much, Lord, for reminding us this afternoon. A name that our love to you will increase more and more. That we will love you more and more, O oh God, because we deserve it, Lord. Lord, I trust your word, O oh God, to continue speaking to us wherever we are, reminding us of your enduring love. In Jesus' name. Thank you.